uh, I, I've seen that uh, our next speaker is already on the line, Professor, uh, sorry, Dr. Nasruddin Yunus. But prior to that, I would like to share a little bit about the background of our speaker. Okay, Dr. Nasruddin Yunus currently is a senior lecturer at UKM. He began his academic career as a lecturer in Arabic language in Institute Technology Mara before moving to University Kebangsaan Malaysia as a tutor and later as a lecturer. With underlying interest in religious studies, he obtained his Bachelor of Arts Honorary from the Islamic University of Medina, Arab Saudi, specializing in Sharia. He pursued his MA Civilizational Studies in University of Malaya, Malaysia and PhD Religious Studies in University of Wales, UK. He attended and presented papers at many international conferences, seminars, especially in the field of Islamic studies, the cultural dialogue and ethnic relations. His areas of interest in teaching, research and graduate supervision include sociology of religion, cross-cultural communication, Islamic and ASEAN civilization, and ethnic relation. Without any further ado, please welcome Dr. Nasruddin Yunus to the session. Thank you, Naim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi, salam sejahtera, and a very good morning to everyone. I don't know how to say good morning to in other languages. Uh, perhaps uh, Sawadi Kap. That's the only word that I know in it's in Thai, I think. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> uh, Honorable Prof. Dr. Dr. Imran Hu Abdullah, uh, the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Industry Alum Alumni and Community Network of University of Bangsa and Malaysia, and also Honorable Prof. Dr. Uh, Rokia Imran. Uh, <coughs> Ajo Omar, the director for UK UCTC in UKM, and everyone, uh, I would like to congratulate everyone for having chosen to be uh, share, share. Uh, for having chosen to be part of this e unique EAYBP. Previously, we have program face to face, and we have uh, uh, we have a very lively session in Malaysia, in Philippines, and other parts of ASEAN. But today, it's quite unique because we have to. We are still together, even though we are from different part of the world. All right, so my, the topic that has been given to me is about the ASEAN unity in cultural diversity. So uh, I, I'm still waiting for the for the PowerPoint to be uh, to be shared. Uh, one minute, the secretariat. Okay. So here's, here we are today. So congratulations, 475 out of, out of over 5,000 applicants. So you are really the chosen ones. And uh, we have uh, ASEAN plus three. Do we know what ASEAN is? That is the very basic question because we this program is ASEAN ASEAN Youth Volunteer Program, and we, I would like to call you as a volunteer, not the participants of the program. So, what is ASEAN? ASEAN. Before we talk about unity and cultural diversity, we need to talk about ASEAN first. So, how many countries in ASEAN? How many countries? It's ten. And uh, and we, if we said ASEAN plus three, do you know what the three countries? Anybody? Okay. I uh, before I start, I would like to invite everyone to uh, to participate with me in this session because I, I I'm not considering this is a, as a lecture, rather a sharing session. So uh, I would prefer some interaction from the participant. Okay. Can we have a participant uh, participation from the the volunteers here? Can we have that? Hello, Malaysia. Hello. Cambodia, hello Laos. Can anybody respond to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Okay. From yes, Cambodia. Sir. Okay. From Cambodia. All right. Now, 
uh, we want to warm, to do some warm up. Okay. Um, I will call country, the name of the country, and then everybody will say, good morning, everybody. Okay, I will just want to have some noise over here. Can we have that? Can we yeah. have that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right, Cambodia, yeah. Cambodia, I think. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, everybody from Cambodia. <laughs> Yes, good morning, everybody. All right. From Lao, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Only one Lao from India? Uh, Myanmar. Good morning, Can I everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have you taken your breakfast? Good morning, Myanmar. Yeah, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Morning. Nice to meet you. Good morning, Philippines. Good morning, good morning, sir. 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 Morning, sir. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Okay. <laughs> now, now we are getting the noise. Good morning, Thailand. Good morning. <laughs> oh, only one person. <laughs> Good morning, Japan. We do have Japan with us here? No. <laughs> no, yeah, okay. All right. So, good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so now we are going to talk about, uh, about ASEAN. And ASEAN, as we said, was uh, uh, ASEAN was founded in 19... Who can tell me? 1969. Who can tell me? 1969? 1967. 1967. How do you know that? How do you know that? Oh. 1967 by five countries. And what are the countries? Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. Wow, you memorize that? <laughs> oh, you are reading that. No, no actually, we have more, and we have tackled that before. <laughs> All right. So you know, this is that was the basic uh, information about ASEAN. We need to know about ASEAN since we will be spending our five days in this week. About we will be talking about ASEAN. All right, now, so uh, in ASEAN Declaration in Bangkok in 1967, they set the aims and purposes of ASEAN to accelerate economic growth. Also, basically, it's about economy at the beginning, social progress and cultural development. You can see there. And also to promote regional peace and stability. And also to promote active collaboration and mutual assistance, to provide assistance to each other in the form of training and research facilities in educational, which what we are doing now, which what we are doing today, and to cooperate more effectively to for the greater utilization of uh, their cultural uh, agriculture and industries and so on, and to promote Southeast Asian studies. So we need to promote to each other about ourselves and to maintain close and beneficial cooperation with existing international and regional organizations. So these are the aims and purposes of uh, Asia, of ASEAN. And do you know which country now are chairing the ASEAN for this year? Which country is the chairman for the ASEAN? Uh, for the ASEAN this year? Vietnam, Vietnam. 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 Vietnam? Yeah. And the motto? And the motto? Inclusive. And the motto? Inclusive ASEAN? No. One vision, one identity. One vision, one identity, one community. No, that is ASEAN in general. Come on. Cohesive and responsive. 
Cohesive and responsive. You see somebody has done a research just now. <laughs> Cohesive and responsive. That's why we are here today to be to create our cohesion and being responsible to our society. So guys, uh, we are ASEAN. So and our <coughs> and our motto is one vision, one identity, and one community. We need to have one vision, one identity. People will know us as ASEAN, not as Malaysia, not as Indonesia or Thailand and Cambodia. ASEAN with one identity and one community. So brothers and sisters, we are brothers and sisters in ASEAN. So now, you see, we have our communities. We, we have one community in ASEAN, particularly about economy, political, and also social, cultural community. And today, I'm not going to talk about economy. I'm not going to talk about politics. I would rather focus on socio-cultural in ASEAN. So now, what are culture? What are the cultures? So that's what we are going to focus. But before that, we need to get to know about ASEAN, yeah, which, in, uh, which include Brunei, Cambodia, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Indonesia, uh, Laos, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. And the five founding countries was our Malaysia, Thailand, the Philippines, Singapore, and Indonesia. And as we can see here in a, uh, about ASEAN demography, the population is increasing. We are the third in the world. And the most important things about the youth, the numbers are increasing. The challenges are also increasing. Now, we as a youth, ASEAN youth, what are our roles in ASEAN, in our country and in our region? And one of it, uh, to volunteer and in many areas and one and uh, as for our program this week and this EEYVP, we will be focusing on education. So what is ASEAN cultural diversity? So ASEAN, consists of 10 countries. And of course, we have similarities and differences in terms of culture. So what is culture basically? Basically, culture will include about social organization, arts, literature, the government, and economy. And we can see culture into two big uh, categories, material or tangible, and non-material or non-tangible. And uh, I'm not going to talk very detail about the definition of culture, but for as for ASEAN, uh, we will be focusing uh, as for as uh, culture in ASEAN. We will be focusing today about three aspects on the languages, religion, and religions and belief, customs and tradition. In discussing these three uh, particular topics, languages, religions, and custom and tradition, I would like to have your participation to share with others what are the main languages in our country, what are the religions in our countries, and what are the custom in our countries. So can anyone tell me about the official language in your country in Myanmar, what is your official language? Yeah. Myanmar yeah. language. Myanmar language. It's called Myanmar language. Yeah, it's also yes. called Burmese. Is that Burmese? Is it Myanmar or Burmese? Uh, actually, it's Burmese. Nationality. Burmese is a nationality, but the language. Uh, but we also call it Burmese language. Yeah. We call it Burmese language. This is language. the Burmese language. Okay. What about Thailand? What is the official language spoken in Thailand? The Thai language. The Thai language. What about Cambodia? My language. My. My. My language. My language. Yes. Yeah. That's how you pronounce it, Khmer, not uh, Khmer. 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 Kh
Kmai language. Kmai. Kmai language. K A. What about Laos? K H M E R. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But you pronounce it Kmai, not Kmai. Yeah, Kmai. <laughs> All right. Okay. Kmai language. What about Lao? Anyone from anyone from Laos? Lao language. Oh, no. Lao, yeah. Just Lao language. And Vietnam? Vietnamese. 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 Okay, Malaysia. Anyone from Malaysia here? Bahasa Melayu. Bahasa Melayu. Bahasa Melayu. Bahasa Melayu. And Indonesia. Indonesia. Bahasa Indonesia. Bahasa Indonesia. Bahasa Indonesia. And Brunei? Bahasa Melayu. Bahasa Melayu. Bahasa Melayu. And the Philippines? Filipino language. Filipino language. Filipino language. Is it? You call it Filipino language. It's not Tagalog. No. No. It's actually um. Our Filipino no, sir. national Filipino language. Yes, Filipino. Philippine language. Okay, because yeah. if if you read, uh, uh, people call it Tagalog, but I don't know if uh, you call it Philippines language as a official language. Yes, uh, we no, uh, Tagalog is uh, the official dialect of the Philippines, not the the official uh, dialect. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. We have okay, other okay. Yeah. All right. Tagalog is the main one. All right. What about Singapore? We have all languages, so English, Malay, and Tamil. But most of us speak English. Everybody will speak English. What What is the official language of Singapore? We have four official languages, so Chinese, oh Mandarin, yeah. Malay, and Tamil. That are the official languages. All right. Uh, okay, okay, this is too loud. This is too loud. <laughs> All right. Can we be? Can we focus more or now? Okay. Singapore. Uh, the official language is uh, Malay actually in the constitution, but uh, the four languages are used widely in Singapore. So you see, we have official languages and also we have dialects in the country. In Myanmar, how many dialects do you have? In Myanmar, how many dialects do you have? One twenty eight, I think. Only one? One twenty eight. One twenty eight. One twenty eight hundred and twenty eight. Wow, that's a lot. What about Thailand? Do you have any other language other than Thai? Oh, maybe there was four different accent or language. Accent. Yeah. Okay. From part of Thailand, north, uh, south, and uh, in the central part of Thailand. Uh, but it's all called Thai language. Yes, but different accent. Maybe we call it north Thai north Thai language, south Thai language, something like that. Oh, okay. What about the southern part? Because I heard some people in uh, some areas in southern part they speak Malay. Is that true? Uh, yeah, some of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What about Lao? Lao, how many dialects? How many other? Do you have any other languages in Lao? Or uh, hi guys. Uh, no, we just have one language. Or our. our, our Tongues matter as Laos, and we use uh -huh. the English to communication in official language. 
yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What about Vietnam? Oh, Do we you have, have any three other different. languages. Three, three different, different languages. Yeah. Uh, okay. We speak the official language in Vietnamese, but actually we have three accents. I mean, the southern accent, the northern accent, and the central accent as well. Yeah, that's right. Uh, do Do you understand each other? Oh, yeah. But uh, for the for for some for people from the central part of Vietnam, it uh, uh -huh. it is hard for the northern people or the all the southern people to understand but actually we can train the train the accent uh, actually we have a main a main language i mean uh, the main accent that everyone can understand each other but uh, for the okay. like, for some for some part for some small province they have their own one so it's a little bit hard for the other to understand what the local actually talking to each other but the best day we have one, we have one main accent that everyone can understand each other. Yeah. And it is Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so sure. The, 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 the central, the central, uh, the central language, I mean the central accent. Uh, 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 I mean the, the accent, uh, the official language of Vietnam is Vietnamese and we give Vietnamese as the official language. But uh, oh, about the dialect, like, we you, have three dialects. Uh, do, do you use English a lot over there? Yeah. No. Uh, no? no uh, it's no. The, our second language. Yeah. Just for the Your second your... language. Yeah. All Actually, right. All right. Yeah. Is, is our foreign language, people can choose to learn it, and it is required to learn from the government, but English is not... Is, hasn't hasn't become a second language yet in Vietnam. Okay, but everybody learn English. <laughs> yes, we learn at the school. Other than English, do you have any other languages that they considered as uh, take uh, learned by by many most of people? Uh, the hard one can China. be uh, French. French. Yeah, French. Yeah. And Spanish. Yeah. Actually, Spanish. Vietnamese love to oh, okay. learn language. Oh, all right. That yeah. is very interesting point. <laughs> what about Cambodia? Khmer? Cambodia? Yes, uh, actually. Yeah, in Cambodia, yes, actually, in Cambodia, we we use uh, Khmer language as the main means to communicate. Okay. Besides that, uh, okay. people also learn other language. And the second language is uh, English. But uh, we actually oh. have other languages, just like uh, Chinese and even Thai or Japanese and Korean either. Uh, in Cambodian, people uh, can learn other languages. Yeah, not okay. only Did English. Not in only Khmer. Do you understand uh, Thai or Vietnam in Khmer, in, in Cambodia? Um, uh, we actually, understand yeah. Thai a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. It's yeah. quite familiar, uh, similar. Is it uh, from the same uh, family language? A uh, language, the, the, the Khmer and Thai and Vietnamese, is it from the same family? Actually, people here learn uh, the basic. Yeah, only the basic because they 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 learn for like uh, medical uh, purpose, just like uh, to medical. go to the, uh, for medical check up like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you go for medical purposes to Thailand. Okay, that is interesting. What about Philippines? Other than uh, Tagalog, what what other, what other languages do you use there? Our official languages are Fili Filipino and English. Yes, uh, English yeah, and it's, uh, we have regional languages as well. Regional. Lots of languages regional. in the Philippines. Yeah. Yes. A lot. So many. Uh, 100, 100, 100, 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 
107. Around 170 yeah. languages, regional languages. Okay. Yeah, and every, we have yeah, in every region, there is sort of a dialect. If you go to the north or you go to the south, there is a specific regional language used by the locals there. Okay. Okay, and but uh, to unite everyone, everybody will speak uh, Tagalog. So, Filipino or English? Yes, Filipino or English. Filipino English. Filipino or English. Yeah, and it's American English, right? Not the yeah. British English. Or the Philippines English. American English. Yes, American English. <laughs> American English. <laughs> I thought it's a Philippine English because in Singapore they have Singlish, in Malaysia we have Manglish. Yeah, we English in our own style. We have what? Taglish. How how is that? One give one example. It's like speaking in English and mixing with Tagalog language. It's like for example, okay. I'm going to eat my dinner. Uh, Bahai. So it's like that. It's actually called like Taglish. English. <laughs> That's unique. <laughs> what about Brunei? Brunei. How many languages spoken there? We mainly use two language, the Malay and also English. But then okay. for dialects, we have seven of them. Seven. Yes. Of Malay seven. dialects. Yes. In such a small country. <laughs> okay, what about Indonesia? So, basically, Indonesia? We have yeah. about 700 so, other languages. 718 language of Indonesia. 700? Yes, 718 languages. Languages. Wow, seven hundred and eighteen languages. Yes. yes. But widely spoken is Bahasa Indonesia. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the official language is Indonesia. All right. So, uh, what about English over there in Indonesia? Do people speak English over there? Not really. Um, not really. Not, not really. really. But it's also. Really. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, everybody needs to learn Indonesian language before we go to Indonesia. Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> no, yeah, sure. Actually, there's a lot of people do, 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 actually understand English in Indonesia. <laughs> do you think people from Brunei will have problem if they go to Indonesia? Uh, yeah, we think so. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> I, I thought you were speaking the same language. <laughs> like, like if Malaysian go to Indonesia, I think we can understand each other, right? Right, like, right. Not really. Yeah, not, really <laughs> not really different. Not really different. Not really different. Oh, not. Oh, okay, the difference is not that big. All right, okay. All right, what about Singapore? Anyone from Singapore? Mm, yeah, I'm from Singapore. Yeah, who is from Singapore? Who is there? Can you tell us the question again? No, no, no. Who is there? Your name, please. My name is Mei Xuan. Mei Xuan? Yeah. Yeah. So what languages? You, you spoke four languages or you just speak one I or two? I speak English and Mandarin. English and Mandarin. And do you learn Tamil over there? The Tamil students, they learn Tamil, but for the Indian students, there are other Indian languages like Hindi, Punjabi, besides. Uh -huh. But the official one is Tamil, right? Yeah, Tamil is the official language. So basically, people in Singapore, they are bilingual, can we say that? Yeah. We learn English and our mother tongue. So for me, I'm Chinese, so I learn Mandarin. You learn Mandarin. Uh, you can speak Mandarin. You can write and read yeah. in Mandarin. Yeah. 
Oh, that's good. That's good because in Malaysia we have this uh, a, a challenge. This is a, a small community. We call them a banana. Do you know that? No. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, because uh, in Malaysia we have a small group of Chinese that we call banana. They they call themselves as banana because uh, it's a yellow from the outside and white from the inside. Oh, they, they are Chinese who don't speak Chinese. I, I see. Is it because do they learn Chinese in school? Uh, not necessarily. Be, be, if they don't practice Mandarin, for example, they don't speak Mandarin, they can't read Mandarin, so they will be considered as banana. I see. Because for us, we are made to learn our mother tongues in school since young. Okay. All right. That's good. Because um, in Malaysia, um, it's a not it's it's a not a must for you to go to to learn your mother tongue. That's a problem. That's why we have banana, and some uh, Indian they call themselves as a coconut, as my students say. They call uh, we are coconut. I said, why you call yourself coconut? Because we are Indian who don't know how to speak Tamil even, and we don't know how to read Tamil. I see. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, this is quite maybe quite different as compared to Singapore because uh, normally in Singapore people are bilingual, at least uh, English and one mother tongue language, right? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. All right. So what about Malaysia? What language do you have in Malaysia? I don't know much about Malaysia. <laughs> Malay, Chinese, but, uh, English, and some dialects. What? Radazan? Too many dialects, I guess. Too many Too dialects, dialects, but yes. we do... Okay, we have dialects, Malay dialects, when it, and also we have different languages, right? In Malaysia? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Can you tell us about that? We have Tamil. Can you tell us about that? We have Tamil, yeah. We have Mandarin, we have what? Uh, Just now I heard Kadazan, Bahasa Melayu. Ban. Do we have the same Melayu as in Brunei? I think a little bit different. It might be similar, but... A little but bit different. Yeah, it's, it's, cut, it's kind of similar. differences. But there's a bit of differences, I guess, because I, I'm studying in Sarawak, so... Like sometimes I, I, I went to Brunei once and it's kind of similar. Hmm. Kind of similar, but do you really understand them? Yes, yes, very much. Yes, okay, so it's quite similar to the one, the, the Bahasa Melayu in, in Brunei. Now, you see from there, we have a lot of languages in ASEAN. And it is very important for us at least to know what language is spoken in different countries. Uh, that's how we, we build up the togetherness among us. This, we, need to, we need to celebrate these uh, diverse languages, especially if in one country we have one or uh, two or more other languages spoken in the country. All right. And when we say languages, it's, uh, it's also include gestures. All right, before that, can, uh, can we say uh, hello or to greet people in your own language? Because I think it is very important for us to understand when people greet us. You go to one country and people say hello to you, you don't understand them, it's so bad. So how to say hello in... Myanmar, how to greet people in Myanmar? Mingalaba. 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 Yeah. Can someone from, from Myanmar teach us properly to pronounce that? Only one person. Say it again. <laughs> Mingalaba. 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 What does that mean? Hello. It means hello. Mingalaba. It's like greeting. Hello, yes. It's not good morning. 
no, not, not good, good morning. morning. Not good morning. We can use the whole day. Oh, yes. okay. Minglava. Yes. All right. Hello. Thailand? Yes, hello. All right. Minglava. Thailand? Uh, hello. Thailand is Sawaddi. But we are Sawaddi. Sawaddi. But if you are a boy, you can say Sawaddi Krab. Krab? Yes. And if you are a girl, you can say Sawaddi Kha. Sawaddi Kha. Oh, oh no, I can't say that. Sawaddi Kha. Sawaddi Kha. It's also not a not good morning. You can greet. It's a. Uh, uh the whole day yes so what do you read other people all right and what about uh sabaydi what does that mean is how are you oh okay so what do you mean lava lao how to say that hello sabaydi <laughs> Sabaydi? Yes, in love. Sabaydi, okay. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, how are you in Thai? Sabaydi. What about Vietnam? How do you greet people? Vietnam. We just, we just ask them. We just ask them, hey. Hi. How? We we just greet people by um approaching them gently and, and uh, then? Hey. hi. We don't hi. say yes. Actually we said xin chào. We do have xin chào, but we don't say that. We don't say Why? That. xin chào. No, we don't say that. You, you... We, approach just like um just like uh p just like chinese people we have uh -huh. hao, but chinese Ni hao, people, yeah yes but chinese people usually they just greet people by uh, approaching them and hey say hey yeah just like that okay uh, we the hello world but we uh use it like for formal situation for yeah. normal friends we don't say hello every time we meet. We just talk directly to the topic. Uh, we asking something, not 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 say hello. <laughs> oh, okay, that's quite unique. What about Cambodia? Uh, in Cambodia, we greet uh, we greet each other by saying Sus Day. Sus Day. Yeah, Sus Day. Oh, what does that mean? Yes, hi. Hi, hello, yeah. Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. Tuesday. Okay, you respond with Tuesday too. In the Philippines? Magandang umaga in uh it in the Tagalog and in the southern part uh it's Bayong Buntang. And then in Mindanao. Bayong Buntang. Yes. Because the Philippines is divided into three uh, subcontinents, the Luzon, the Sahel, okay. and Mindanao. So the, from the Luzon, right. they say, Magandang Umaga. In Visayas, Mayong Buntag. And in Mindanao, wow. Magkaya Kapipita. And then, yeah, that's it. Wow, it's not yes. easy. We also it's not easy to master. Uh, Kamusta? Uh, Kamusta in greeting uh, our friends or... Just anyone we meet, we say kamusta, which means how are you? Kamu oh, how, how are you? Ni hao? <laughs> kamusta? Ni men hao. It's like Italian language. Aha. All right. Why? That is interesting. What about Brunei? How do you greet people? Brunei? Mm -hmm. Uh, we usually say hi and then we say salam after that. Hi, assalamualaikum. Salam. Yeah. Hi, assalamualaikum. It's a quite similar to Indonesia, right? No, Indonesia they have selamat siang, selamat sore, selamat malam. 
Okay. In Indonesia, how do you greet people? Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. And it's quite funny because we use the word selamat to greet and it it has different meaning in 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 Philippines, right? In the Philippines, selamat means uh, thank you. Terima kasih. Selamat. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> selamat po, selamat po. And selamat in Singapore, Singapore, how do you greet people normally? We just say hi. Just say hi and hello. Yeah. In Malaysia, I think hi, Malaysia apa. is quite similar. <laughs> oh, Malaysia and plus Malaysia. apa kabar? Yeah, I think Malaysia is quite similar to Brunei and Indonesia. So yeah. greeting is one Im one important thing that we need to know. And what about gesture? Do you have special gesture in in Indonesia? For example, they like to do in Thailand too, right? And you do find it in Malaysia, people do this. What about uh, gesture? Is there anything that we need to take note if you go to Indonesia, for example, you don't do this? Or you must do this in Myanmar. Do you have special gesture in, I, I believe we do have that, but just give me one. Can you show me? In Malaysia, for example, you don't call people like this. If you want to call people, you call like this. Can you see me? Because here, if you call people like this, people will, won't be answering you. Why? You know why? This is what how we call dogs or cats. We call animal like this, and we call people like this. Uh, quite opposite to the American way. American, they call people like this and call dogs like this, the way around. What about in Indonesia? Any special gesture? You want to share with us? What does this mean to you? That's good. Good. Thumbs up. Okay. It's good. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Mantap. Okay. 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 Mantap. 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 Yeah. Mantap. Any other meaning? Mantap. In Thailand, what does this mean? Can we can we do this to everyone over there in Thailand? No, it means like great job. <laughs> good job. In the Philippines? I think we don't have. Also you don't have this. We have, have this. We have this. Okay. <laughs> you have this. And what does this mean? This is the sign of the Duterte president. Oh, oh. <laughs> have this thumbs up. No, <laughs> no it's not thumbs up. You know, this, this thumbs up. We also you have like you that. Have any... We have that. It means um, good job. Give it up. Yes. Like some... yeah. Okay. But here in Malaysia, if you do this to people, whether it is a good job or thank you. Oh. Or thank you. If you pass by a policeman, for example, you said you do this, people will understand. Oh, thank you. But in Philippines, oh. most of the time, the people like to nod their head. Huh? Yeah, yes. Just nod so their head. Oh, okay. Like, uh, for whatever reason. Yes, for whatever reason, for like, uh, you're, you've been talking and then you agree. Uh -huh. And nodding your head. <laughs> oh, nodding your head. Yes. In Thailand and Indonesia, they like to greet using this. In Thailand too, right? Is that true, Thailand? Uh, yeah. Sawadi. Yeah, yes. Sawadi Kaup. <laughs> yeah. What about Myanmar and Lao, Vietnam? Any special gesture that we need to know? Um, yes. Uh, regarding the gesture, uh, in Myanmar, it is not polite to, to touch on someone's head because we consider head as a very like a noble part of the human body. So okay. And also another thing. Another thing is that it also regarded impolite to put someone in the face with the finger. So uh, it is not a polite manner. Oh, 
So meaning that in Myanmar we can touch your head? In Myanmar, can we touch your head? No. Uh, yes or no? Not really. No. no. Okay. No. I I think but this is the common it thing is that we share. In polite. Okay, I thought it's a polite thing to yeah. do. I think that is what we share in ASEAN countries. We don't touch people's head. Right? Yes. Is that yes. true in Thailand too, I think? In, uh, what about in Singapore? Is that okay to touch people's head? In Singapore? Yeah, but we don't really do it. It is okay. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything if we touch someone's head, but we, it's uh, common for Okay, us. we don't do, really do it, but I think like in Malaysia, for example, in Indonesia, I've seen people uh, who punch someone else's uh, face because he touched his head. So sensitive. In Malaysia too, it's so sensitive for you to touch the head. It's, uh, it's uh, considered as impolite. All right. Okay. So that are uh, among the things about languages. So let's let's move to belief, religions and beliefs. How many religions practice in our countries? We do we have any official religion, or some countries don't have any official religion? Like in Cambodia, Myanmar. we have. Yeah. Like in Cambodia, in Cambodia we have. Uh, yes. We have a uh, one uh, official religion is uh, Buddhism. Buddhism in which school of thought? With uh, is it Hinayana or Theravada? Yes. Uh, Mahayana. Uh, Mahayana Buddhism. Yes. Mahayana Buddhism. And ninety-five in... percent of people respect that. Or uh, believe that ninety-five oh. percent of people believe on 90... that. Uh, in Mahayana Buddhism? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, what about uh, Vietnam? Vietnam, can you uh, share with us the, the main religion uh, in Vietnam? We, we, we don't have any really uh, official religion, like uh, nation religion here. But um, okay. we have the most religion here is Buddhist and um, and I forget. Christian. I forget the name. Yeah, yeah, Christian. Yes, right. Thank you. Christian. Okay. What about? Uh, well, we have we listened to we have listened to Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos. What about Laos? So actually, in this? my country, in Laos, we also yeah. have the Buddhism and animism and also some Christian as well. Okay, but the main religion? Yeah. Uh, the main is Buddhism. Buddhism. Okay, what about uh, the Philippines? Uh, we don't have an um, official religion, but around 80 to 90% of the people are Christians, so that uh, we have these holidays that revolve around the practices of Christians. But, uh, Christians. but there are some Muslims in Mindanao, yeah. so yeah. we also respect them. So as per Philippine 1997 constitution, there is no official, but there are Muslim and Christians in the Philippines and some minorities of Buddhism, I think so. Mm -hmm. But none of it declared as an official religion? No. 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 Okay, all right. Uh, what about Singapore? Singapore? No state religion, but people in Singapore practice a wide range of religions like Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism. Quite a number. Yeah, there are a lot of religions, but there's no state religion. No state religion. What about uh, Thailand? The main religion in Thailand is Buddhism. And other religion do they have? Uh, yeah. Do they anybody practice Christianity or other religions? Yeah, there are many different religions. Uh, the the second one is Christian, and the third one is 
The third one is? Islamic. Islam, oh, okay. In Indonesia, of course, a majority are Muslim. But do, do you have any other religion in Indonesia? Yes. Of course. Yes, there of course. Six Obviously, we have like six religions, uh, like Islam, Protestant, Islam. Protestant uh, Bud Buddhism, Buddhism, Hinduism, Catholic. and Confucianism. 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 Yes. In, 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 in your mm -hmm. Panchasila, five religions, what are those? Six. Six, six religions. Religion. Officially six religions. Oh, okay. Officially six, Officially six religions. But the majority are Muslim. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Majority. What about Malaysia? Islam is the official religion. It's okay. in the constitution. Hinduism. Buddhism, Christian. Mm -hmm. Christian? And any other religions? Catholic. 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 Yeah. Catholic. Catholic. We consider it as Christianity. And other minor religion. Like what? So I mean because under under Christian I think there are a lot of like they are in in their mazhab uh, like the, like okay. Muslim there are there are different mazhab uh, school of thought yeah. we have two the bigger the, the biggest are two uh, Catholic and Protestant and under Protestant there are branches but uh, is there any other religion uh, sing sing sing, sing. Things people sing. Oh, Sikh, Sikh, Sikhism. 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 Okay. So I think uh, basically we have main religions in our countries. As you can see here, the numbers we have Buddhism, we have Islam, we have Catholic, Catholicism, and also we forgot to mention the four uh, religions. And uh, in Malaysia, we have a Chinese religion. I'm not sure about Brunei. Do you have a Chinese religion in Brunei? We don't have Chinese, Brunei? but Christians. Oh, most, most of them are Christians. Yeah. Okay. Chinese, yeah. They adopt Christians. You're not, they end up Christian. They observe Christianity. All right. Um, the, in Singapore, what about Chinese in Singapore? Um, um, are they practicing traditional uh, Chinese religion? There are some Chinese Singaporeans that practice Buddhism, but many Chinese mm -hmm. do, not, do not have a religion or they practice other religions such as Christianity or Catholicism. So the race does not have a strong link to the religion they practice because it's up to them. It's up to individual. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, religion is actually one major part, one main element in uh, in uh, Asian uh, identity, actually. But the thing is, now with the modern life, many, especially young people, they tend to be atheists, atheists which don't believe in any God or any religion. And some of the young people, they tend to be agnostic. You know I agnostic? Yes. Do you know agnostic? Know. Yes. What is that? What is that? It's yes. like you believe in God, but... Agnostic is a man. No. You don't actually identify the religion, but you believe in... The existence of God. It's quite different from atheism, like you totally devoid the existence of God. But while okay. for agnosticism, it seems like you believe that God exists, but it's not actually identified. There's no religion, I guess. So. All right. Because uh, but normally uh, when we, we talk about agnosticism, 
is majority from the Philippines. I don't know why in Asia, normally people in Asia will, you know, uh, relate themselves to any religion. But in when I spoke to the Philippines, the youngsters, they will speak about agnosticism. In Malaysia, agnosticism is something that people never heard about. <laughs> because we only heard about we either you being atheist or theist, but not agnostic. So something is very interesting happening in the Philippines now when people are quite a big, I think quite a number of people, especially young people, choose to be agnostic. Is that true? Um, uh, my Philippines yes. brothers, yeah. Yes, I'm not sure about it. I think um, I think that not most of us, because um, especially that you talk to the youngsters, we do believe that uh -huh. it is one of the reason. Uh, I mean, it is one of the cause of the so-called secularization that we have. We, that we are currently experiencing, especially in education. And I think that students are being agnostic because of the secularization in education, so, and oh, liberalization. Okay. Liberalization, okay. And I'm, I, I don't know, Indonesia, do you know what agnostic? Yeah, yeah, we know that. You know, yes. do you have people who are agnostic in, in Indonesia? Yeah, yeah, we have, but the people uh, didn't declare them as the agnostic because it's still not uh, common in Indonesia. Okay, they don't declare. There yeah. are people, but they don't, don't declare yeah. that. What about in Thailand? Guys, anyone from Thailand? This is something new in, in creating our new identity for ASEAN because all this while in ASEAN, we, were, we always talk about religion, but now we have a new group of people who admit that they are agnostic. What about in Thailand? Oh, hello. Any response from Thailand? Yeah? Okay. Um, not so many Thailand is agnostic. Most of them... Yeah. Uh, Yes, Buddhist. Most of them are Buddhist, so they will always associate themselves to uh, religion. Yeah. Is that okay for you to declare that you are atheist or agnostic in Thailand? Yeah, it's okay because some of Thai people also don't have uh, religions and we are fine with it. Okay, like in Malaysia, you cannot declare openly because religion is one of the most important, I think, in Malaysian identity. It is in the national principle. Number one, the first principle is to believe in God. So if you don't believe in God, you, you better keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why most of the people in Malaysia, they don't really... Uh, they don't really know what agnosticism about is all about. Okay, so thank you. So that is the religion that we have in ASEAN. I, I, I really appreciate the sharing from you and uh, the breakdown. Actually, we have quite a number of breakdowns uh, in terms of religion in, in our countries. Uh, we, you know that and I don't want to talk about this so much. Okay, what about you people? Any of you are uh, atheist? Just asking. Any of you are atheist? Or any of you are agnostic? Uh, sometimes I consider myself as agnostic and I am from Cambodia. Oh okay, and is it is this okay in your country not to not to associate no, with I think uh, like, any other? Yes, I think like my parents, they both uh, mm -hmm. uh believe on Buddhism as the traditional mm -hmm. one. But for me, I think mm -hmm. like all religions are the same, and the, and every okay. God, they just want their people or believer to do the mm -hmm. good deed. 
the yes. good things. Okay. Now, my question is that okay for you to declare yourself as uh, agnostic in Cambodia? I am okay because, like, I can get along with all religion mm -hmm. and somehow, yes, I don't quite believe on Buddhism mm -hmm. as my parents as well. <laughs> no, 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 no. My question is. Is that okay culturally to to tell people that you uh you don't believe in religion or God in 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 Cambodia? Is it okay? I, I mean, but no, I, yeah. I, yes. uh, I think it's okay. Yes, it's okay. You can tell people like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we have in, another response just now. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's not okay. How is that? Uh, I mean that uh when. Uh, in provinces, we, I mean, we totally believe in the Buddhism. So, um, mm. when other people from the different mm. religions are not believing, normally we don't. Mm. Mm. Meaning that some people are quite sensitive when we talk about religion, <laughs> right? What I know is that uh, the people in uh, provinces uh always heard that uh, the religion is like it's negative uh it is it's bad yes they kill other people or do something bad like that it's not good as buddhism so that's why we believe that other religion is uh, not good okay all right so you see some uh, sometimes yeah, yeah. Actually, what is that? Uh, one thing I would like to add is that in Cambodia, uh, we can show mm -hmm. other people through action whether or not we follow the religion like that. Just like when people uh, go to pagoda for praying or like any other occasion we can go in like that. We we don't uh, we don't actually tell people directly. But we saw them action. Yeah. Yes, that's oh. right. We saw them action. Okay. okay, all right. You don't talk about it. <laughs> okay. So you see, religion is not always become a sensitive issue in Malaysia. But you don't you have to have a religion at least on paper. Uh, I think it's the same thing in Brunei. Not as but as hello, yeah. Yes, Bernard. Okay, so religion is a uh, again is a main identity for ASEAN, as I said. But uh, we can see the changes nowadays, uh, especially among the young people. All right. So we, when do volunteerism, this is one of the factor that we need to be very careful when we meet people. We need to get uh, to know people first in terms of their religion because it's quite sensitive. In many occasions, religion is very sensitive, not as sensitive as language. All right, but this is very, very sensitive uh, subject in most of the countries in ASEAN. All right, in terms of customs, if you can see that, uh, uh, we have different uh, types of costume, food, and eating habits, and the way we eat, what we eat, is quite different. But uh, we need to consider one thing, especially especially when you are in uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Southern Thai, Southern Philippines, and some parts of Singapore, when halal become is one ma major things when it comes to food. So when you go uh, in Indonesia, in Malaysia, I think even uh, alcohol is not permissible in public. So if you go to other parts of ASEAN, perhaps ha uh, halal is not a big issue. But if you want to be safe, you better, when you see Muslim in that particular place, please consider being respectful to the Muslim in terms of halal. And halal is not only about uh, pork and dog, no. Halal must be slaughtered 
No, I mean, you don't slaughter dog, I mean, or uh, pig, but uh, even cow, you need to slaughter. And in certain places where you see Hindus, you need to re give some respect to them by not eating meat because they really respect cows, for example. So, um, again, our custom, we, are quite, we, we have quite unique custom according to places in ASEAN which I think uh, we are running out of time to share about the, uh, the customs, but uh, the, do, the do's and the don'ts, please be sensitive when we go to, to new places or we want to, we, we meet new people in other countries. Mm. Okay, I, my time is up now. So what is important here, the point, my point is we need to celebrate uh, the differences in our diverse cultural uh, elements in our countries, in, uh, in ASEAN countries, especially when you do volunteering work, when you go and meet people, especially the vulnerable people, you need to be sensitive about their language, their religions and their customs. Please, if you can, if you have time, try to do uh, some assignment or study with the community first before you go and meet them. So then uh, you'll be prepared. You can prepare yourself not to touch on the sensitive issues in uh, among the people that you are willing to involve. Okay, with that, I would like to say that it is good to get to know each other and to respect each other. Why we need to know the, the diversity of our culture because we want to know and respect each other. With that, I finished my session and I really like to thank you for uh, lending me your uh, ears and also to pay some uh, to pay attention and to also participate with me. My point today is, uh, as I said, it's not a lecture. My session is now, uh, today is about sharing, okay? I am the facilitator, not the lecture in our session. Uh, before we end our session, I would like to open to Q&A, if you'd like to ask one or two questions. Yes, uh, Professor, actually it's not a question. It's just the point that I would like to share to you. I am actually... Okay. In happy that you include halal food in your presentation. Actually, yes. uh, my name is Serai from Cambodia, and uh, I uh -huh. used to work as a former facilitator for AYBP. Yeah, AYBP oh, okay. in Cambodia. Yeah, and I used to oh, okay. eat halal food for a month. <laughs> and I oh. also used to know uh, Professor Imran. Either. I am oh. so happy to involve in uh, today program. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Sari. Yeah. Welcome uh, back. You I are back to the family. Me. Yeah, and Just everyone. meeting you too. <laughs> yeah. So, any other things to ask or to share? Anyone? Alan. Alan. No? Okay. Anyone to ask question or to share something? Okay, as you said that in Malaysia region is a very important thing, so they have to write it down yes. Yeah, identity. So what if someone does not believe in the religion? Okay, that's a very good question. In Malaysia, uh, we have five national principles. The number one is to believe in God. But if someone they don't believe in, someone is not believing in God, he or she cannot declare it openly. It is very individual. Need to keep it privately because why? Because if people may know about that, it will become might become a problem because in our documents, basically, we will have um, in a form. Basically, after names, age, agenda, age, and then the fourth or the fifth one will be religion. 
is considered something official in Malaysia. So, if you don't believe in God, you can keep it to yourself. But in the form, some, most of the time, you need to take one of the religions. Am I answering you? Yeah, yeah because it uh, has to do with the legal aspect too. Do you like country uh, So say it again. Sorry. Uh, and, uh, do you uh, do you like uh, at the country? I mean, uh, specific one. Yes. Do I like? I can't hear you. Sorry. Say again. Do you like at other country is food? Other countries food. I always like to try new foods as uh, provided it is halal. And so sad because you cannot come to Malaysia or to, uh, to other countries for this program, AYVP. For those who already joined AYVP in the past years, uh, that is the among the best thing is to try other places food. Yeah, I do like, I travel a lot. That's why, I, yeah, I'm quite open to try foods. Sir, have you ever been you to too. Cambodia? Not yet. One of the places that yes. I want to go As I uh, after the pandemic, resident, hopefully. So I would recommend you to eat amok for our traditional food. Anok? Amok, yes, amok. What is amok? Uh, it's our traditional food. Okay, should we yes. try one day? Please note it down. We, we we pray to God to end the pandemic as soon as we can. Then we can travel yes. again. And I can't yeah, wait to see you now. in Cambodia as well. Hopefully one day, inshallah. Yes. Anyone else want to share anything? Is it as well Philippines? Philippines? Ah. Yeah. I've never been in Asia, uh, in Philippines too. Supposedly in, the, in August, but yeah, <laughs> things happen. <laughs> The pandemic stopped us from traveling. I hope to see you. You will experience how um, Filipinos are very hospitable. Good, good. We will try uh, new food in Philippines one day. Yes, I'm going to let you try the balot. Balot? Ah! <laughs> something. <laughs> I, I don't think I can try that one. <laughs> Oh, but, but you know we, ha we have Pinoy. Pinoy is like uh, it's halal, but a balot is not. Oh. Inside the balot there is a uh, brown inside. Oh really? We should try that maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Pinoy and balot. I know balot, but uh, I know. I mean the the egg, the you know. What, is, what was it called? Is that Pinoy or Balot? Balot. Um, it's Balot. balot. I, inside the Balot, there is a, like uh, embryo. But inside embryo. the uh, Pinoy, it's like a visual egg. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's halal. All right. It's halal, huh? Yes, as long as it is halal, we can always try. <laughs> you cannot slaughter an egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, so this is the end of my session. Thank you very much once again, and I wish you all the best. All right, now unmute your your speaker and we say goodbye to everyone goodbye everyone bye bye Bye. Thank you so much, Dr. Nan. Bye. 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 Uh, we have around five more minutes up until the next session. But before that, I would like uh, to give you uh, some notes uh, from uh, the secretariat team. 
Uh, in order for you guys to be eligible to obtain certificate, participant need to attend at least 90% of the session. Yes, just like attending your classes. And number two, at every end of the session, the participant uh, will share with you a, a, a feedback form for attendance purposes. Uh, for your information, we can detect your IP address and time uh, just to double check your attendance. So number three, um, uh, every time the speaker is speaking, please mute your audio unless if the speaker requested you to speak just like Dr. Nas session just now. And lastly, kindly ensure that you are wearing proper attire throughout the session. That is all from me. So we have around five minutes uh, of breaks. So I'll see you guys soon. In five minutes, uh, in five minutes.